Hi everyone, my name is Tim. I'm sure you can all remember back to when as a child you had these stars on your bedroom ceiling which would glow in the dark. You would have to charge them up by sunlight or a lamp beforehand and after which they would glow with a faint green color. This is called phosphorescence. But how does this actually work? In this short video I will explain you the scientific reasons behind this phenomenon. These stars are obviously made of plastic but mixed in is a special substance that can store the energy from absorbed light and emit it at a later time. Depending on the type of substance, the color of the emitted light can be different. And also, the glow time can vary from seconds to minutes to even hours. In essence, the phenomenon is based just on the exchange of energy between light and the molecules that make up the substance, or more precisely its electrons. So let's take a look at the possible energy states of the electrons of a phosphorescent material. We have a ground state, an excited state and an intermediate state. Each state has additional levels that signify the energies that go into vibration and rotation of the atoms inside the molecule. In the dark, electrons are in the ground state. When exposed to light, the energy can be absorbed by an electron, causing it to jump to the excited state levels. Now, there are two possible routes for the electron to return to the ground state. One is straight down, where it first loses some energy by converting it into vibration of the molecule. This is called vibrational relaxation. Then it can jump down to the ground level, by which it releases a small amount of light called a photon. This jump down is smaller than the jump up to the excited state level, so the color of the re-emitted light is shifted towards the red end of the visible spectrum. This first route is called fluorescence, which you might recognize from the bright yellow safety vests. This process is very fast and it will stop almost immediately after the incident light is turned off. The other route also involves thermal relaxation. However, the electron then transitions to another state with overlapping energy levels. This is called intersystem crossing. The route down to the ground level from this state is hindered by an additional energy barrier making it much less likely to happen than in fluorescence. This causes the electrons to get stuck here for a while before they can return back to the ground state. This leads to emission of photons from the molecule even after the incident light has been turned off. The second route is called phosphorescence. I hope that you now have a better idea of what phosphorescence is and how it is different from fluorescence. So thank you for watching and see you next time.